Texas. It's 54C, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to need for this project are a toolkit with anti static and just a screwdriver. If you're not wearing an anti static, please work on a hard floor, which is what I'm doing. So I will not be using my anti static even though I have one. The computer itself. The new keyboard and an iPad or tablet or even a cell phone or a computer will work to look at the manual. So yeah, let's go ahead and replace the keyboard. What I want to do is take the battery out. So let me go ahead and do this. Oh, there we go. All right. And uh, I'm still too far. Alrighty, pull these two latches. Just slide that out. Just like that. Using a uh, just a small flathead screwdriver on this. Um, this is just pretty much what I have. Come on. Okay. Uh, go ahead and open up the laptop. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be popping these clips back. They're along the top row. So you stick the screwdriver down there, pop it back, pop it back, pop it back. This will flip up. And then, um, you know, unplug it, plug it back in, and you should be good. So pretty much, let's get this forward a little bit. And, uh, go like that. But, I've already started, as you can see. And there's, like, little clips up there that actually hold this thing in. So sorry about my head blocking the view, but um, pretty much what I do is I slide the screwdriver in and pull it up. As you can see, third one's up. And please be sure to be careful while doing this. Patience is always better. We do not want to break the computer. And this should be the last one right here. Yep. Now, let me pause the video real quick. Now, that's going to fold over like that, and you'll see my cord right here. As you can see, my ribbon cable. Uh, sorry about the blurriness, but you just fold up this like black thing almost. Come on. Okay, so I was actually wrong about the whole thing. So, this right here actually pulls back. And ribbon cable just pulls out. There's the old keyboard right there. That thing right there, that black piece, just pulls back. And this just pulls right out. Now, what I recommend you to do is to take the old keyboard and... Practice inserting this so you don't break the new ribbon cable off the new keyboard because I do not want a broken ribbon cable. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. So I'll be back after I do that. Alrighty. I ordered a new keyboard on Amazon for about 14 bucks. We got this guy right here. Brand spanking new. All the keys are included. Of course they would. Brand new keyboard. Why not? And uh, so yeah, there's what it looks like. Premium finish. Well, not exactly, but whatever. And compared to this guy, what do you see that's different? Of course you see it. Folded ribbon cable. So, um, I don't know which side goes down. Oh, here we go. So, I just had to cut that out real quick. Uh, my phone was starting to ring. I had to take the phone call. Alrighty, inserted the ribbon cable. Now we just push that clip back. 
and we're going to try the computer to make sure it works. So, grab your battery. Try not to let the keyboard fall out. Um, again, do not want a broken keyboard. Let me put this in while um, I pause this video. Now's the moment of truth. I oh, don't want that glare. Computer's turning on, so we know we haven't done anything to the motherboard, which is good. Let me let this boot up. Got to the user sign in. Click and sign in. And our moment of truth. Let's make a new text document real quick. Why is battery saver on? I have no idea. But let's go ahead and do this. So new text document. Ooh, the battery's dead. That's why our battery's dead. So, um, looks like I gotta get the uh, charger. Let's now try this again. From a hibernation, let's see how good it boots up. Oh. The uh, enter key and the space key work. Let's see if the keys work that, um, didn't work when I had the other keyboard. Q, W, E, R, T. My battery is very low, um, but yeah, looks like the keyboard's working. So I might have to let this charge up. But as you guys can see, um, it's pretty much working. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the keyboard on. So um, yeah. So to put the keyboard back in, it's pretty simple. You gotta get the bottom piece in, and then you just push down. You gotta get it to click. The end is still coming up, which I don't know why. But it seems to be in, and I don't know why this end is still coming up. Oh, there we go. So, I'd say this was a big success. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please stay tuned for more videos. Um, you know, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Uh, email is in the About section on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, go ahead, like, subscribe, favorite comment, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'd say this was a big success, and peace out.